What's up everyone, Takedown here. Today I'm going to be sharing my predictions for WWE's Hall of Fame 2020. Let's get right into this. So with WWE's Hall of Fame right around the corner, there's a lot of speculation as to who is going into the Hall of Fame this year, and before they start announcing who is actually getting inducted this year, I decided to share my predictions just because there is a lot of wrestlers that I feel deserve to go in the Hall of Fame, and I'm really excited to see who is going in this year. Up first for my predictions, we have Vader, who is one of the greatest super heavyweights of all time. Vader is very agile in the ring and was best known for his finisher, the Diving Moonsaults. He was a former WCW United States Champion and a former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Unfortunately, he died June 18th, 2018, so if he were to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, it wouldn't be him personally, but WWE has done this in the past with other great WWE wrestlers where they get inducted into the Hall of Fame after they have passed away. It is sad that we cannot honor them in the ring in person in the WWE Hall of Fame, but at least WWE will be honoring him someday, and I'm hopefully going to see that happen in 2020. Next up is Christian. Christian had a great career as a singles competitor and also in tag team action, teaming with people like Edge, Lance Storm, and Chris Jericho, winning the tag team titles seven times with Edge, once with Lance Storm, and once with Chris Jericho. He has held the European Championship, the Hardcore Championship, he is a two-time ECW Champion, a four-time Intercontinental Champion, and a two-time World Heavyweight Champion. He was also a huge influence in the tag team division in the early 2000s, teaming with Edge to face the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys, so I definitely think he deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. I feel that if he were to go in the Hall of Fame, he will go in as a single competitor first, and and then eventually go in with Edge as the Edge and Christian tag team. But I definitely feel that he deserves to go in as a solo competitor first. Next up for my prediction is Bam Bam Bigelow. Known as the most natural, agile, and physically remarkable big man of the past quarter century. Fans will also remember his distinctive flame tattoo that was on his head. He competed in ECW, WCW, and WWE. He was a former WCW Hardcore Champion, a two-time WCW Tag Team Champion. He was the ECW Television Champion and the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. He did retire November 7th, 2006, but he passed away January 19th in 2007 due to drug overdose. He did have a hell of a career in the WWE, and he is one of the best big men that I know, so I definitely think he deserves to go in the Hall of Fame, and I would like to see him get inducted this year. Next up is JBL. JBL rose to prominence in WWE in the Attitude Era under the name Brad Shaw and became a three-time tag team champion with Ron Simmons as APA. He would later go on to win the European Championship, United States Championship, Intercontinental Championship, and the WWE Championship, and he held the Hardcore Championship the most with a total of 18 times. He retired at WrestleMania 35 where he would lose the Intercontinental Championship to Rey Mysterio. Next up is Mickey James. Mickey James made her WWE main roster debut in 2005, where she was placed in a storyline with Trish Stratus, which lasted eight months. She won her first WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania 25, and she won that title a total of five times, and eventually went on to win the WWE Divas Championship. Next up is Kane. Kane debuted in 1995 in the WWE, and he played various characters until 1997, where he was repackaged as Kane. He was a huge part of the Attitude Era in the late 1990s and early 2000s, defeating Stone Cold for the WWE Championship in 1998. He was a two-time Intercontinental Champion, the ECW Champion, the World Heavyweight Champion, the 12-time Tag Team Champion, he has won the Money in the Bank briefcase, he had the most eliminations at the Royal Rumble with a total of 44, and he won the 24-7 championship in September 2019. Currently, Kane is in a part-timer contract with the WWE because he is the mayor of Knox County, so he isn't active in the WWE. Mainly, he only appears within the WWE whenever WWE comes close to Knox County and is in his area, then he will make appearances mostly on Raw. Next up is the Hardy Boys. Real Life Brothers Jeff and Matt Hardy debuted in the WWE in 1998. 
Their biggest matches were with the Dudley Boys and Edge and Christian in ladder matches and TLC matches. They won the tag team titles a total of six times. Jeff would later leave the company in 2009 and match in 2010. However, they made a surprise return in 2017 at WrestleMania to win the Raw Tag Team titles in a Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. During the 2018 Superstar Shakeup, Jeff was sent to SmackDown splitting up the team, but in February 2019 they reunited and in April they won the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Currently they are both contracted within WWE with the recent WWE Draft, Jeff Hardy is still out on injury, so it's unknown where he is going to be whenever he does return, but Matt Hardy is still unknown whether he's on Raw or SmackDown because it has yet to be announced. I feel they are such a great tag team, even if they were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Once Jeff is cleared from injury, I could see them still coming back and being part of the tag team division because we learned years ago with people like Kurt Angle going into the Hall of Fame, their WWE in-ring career does not necessarily mean they're going to be over once they're inducted into the Hall of Fame. They could still have an in-ring WWE career. Next up is The Big Show. He began his career in WCW and was known as The Giant. Since his debut, he has many great storylines and rivalries in WWE, WCW, and in ECW. He has held the WCW World Heavyweight Championship twice, the ECW World Heavyweight Championship, he is a three-time hardcore champion, he is a 11-time tag team champion in both WWE and WCW, he was a United States Champion, Intercontinental Championship, and a two-time WWE Champion. He debuted in 1994 and is still contracted with the WWE, however he is on part-timer status as we've seen whenever he was active in the WWE. Currently he is out on injury but he is still contracted within the WWE. And my last prediction for this year's WWE Hall of Fame is Batista. Batista signed with WWE in 2000. From 2002 to 2010 he became a two-time WWE Champion and a four-time World Heavyweight Champion. He holds the record for the longest reign as the World Heavyweight Champion at 282 days. He was a four-time Tag Team Champ twice with Ric Flair, once with John Cena, and once with Rey Mysterio, and he won the 2005 Royal Rumble, headlining WrestleMania 21. After leaving WWE in 2010, he returned in 2013, going on to win the 2014 Royal Rumble, and headlining WrestleMania 30 before departing that June. Batista made a second return and faced Triple H at WrestleMania 35 in 2019, but after that WrestleMania, he announced his retirement from the WWE and wrestling in general. Out of everybody on this list, since Batista did announce his retirement after WrestleMania last year, he is the top one that I feel out of everybody that I mentioned on this list is likely going to go in this year's WWE Hall of Fame. It is going to be interesting, and I know a lot of people are going to say, why didn't I put people like The Undertaker on this list? Because Undertaker is still active in the WWE, even though it is on part-timer status. He is going to all these Saudi Arabia shows and making different appearances at WWE programming. So I feel that even though I think he deserves to go in the Hall of Fame, and I think he should be in the Hall of Fame by now, I just don't see WWE putting him in the Hall of Fame yet until he's ready to hang up the boots. So these are my predictions for this year's WWE Hall of Fame. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below who you think is going to go in this year's Hall of Fame. And I'm going to leave this video here. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.